Hello and welcome to the Crafty Elf Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how this tin, heart-shaped tin, and two bags of Hershey Kisses, and a gift box that could have jewelry in it, and some shredded paper is going to turn into a spectacular gift worth giving. Now, on my blog I promised that I would show you how to make gifts look much larger than they are and this is the video I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm very excited to bring this video to you. So to start with all I've done is I've taken a plain box and I've wrapped it in some silver paper. It has hearts on it. It's quite pretty. It's nondescript and that's the point of it. I mean you can wrap it in red, you can wrap it in any color, whatever color matches the gift that you're going to give. Okay, so to start, I'm going to take the tin that I purchased. I purchased this at the dollar store. I'm just going to show you it's not what you've got, it's what you do with what you've got that really can create something. And it's important to know that you don't have to spend a lot of money. Just make sure what you buy looks really nice. Okay, so all I've done is I've taken a handful of shredded paper. Now I'm going to show you, it comes in a bag like this. When you pull this out, make sure when you pull it out, they really pack it in pull out the paper and gently just pull it apart. You'll get twice the bang for your buck. You really don't need it all bunched in. So don't make it, it doesn't have to be pretty. You just place it in there, it kind of looks a little, you know, it's hanging over the side and that's perfectly fine, you want that. Now the back of the gift must look as nice as the front of the gift. So you always have to keep that in mind. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the lid, I filled the tin with the shredded paper and I'm going to take the lid and I'm just going to stick it in there just like that. Now I'm going to take the gift, the wrapped gift, could be diamonds, could be anything you want. You try not mix food with something like candles because the food could absorb the smell. You have to be very careful about the different kind of things that you put in something that's wrapped. Uh, um, and I'm going to wrap this one in cello, but you have to be careful because you don't want the smells and the food to mix. So now that I've got that, as you can see, I really haven't done much and already it looks fantastic. I'm just going to cut the Hershey bag open and I'm just going to take some Hershey Kisses and I'm going to mix. Things should be done in three, so I'm just going to stick three Hershey Kisses here and I'm going to take... Oh, sorry, get my tape and I'm going to take some Hershey Kisses. All I've done is take a piece of scotch tape and I've rolled it backwards and I'm going to stick it on the box and I'm just going to stick a Hershey Kiss there. And again, we're going to do them in three. So I'll take another piece of tape and I'm just going to roll it the sticky sides here. I'm just going to roll it up and I'm going to put it here and I'm going to stick a silver one like that. They don't have to be all perfect or anything. Then I'm going to take another piece of tape and I'm going to take a red one and I'll just stick it right back here sideways on the tin. And then you can do it again. This time I'm going to use a little bit bigger piece of tape and I'm going to just stick going to stick it like that. Well, I might need another piece of tape. Okay, that's fine. You really don't want the tape to show, so you kind of got to stick it in there. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to take my cello, so you can see exactly how I'm going to slide the gift. I'm going to unroll the cello paper here and I think I forgot to mention that I was going to wrap it in cello at the beginning of the video uh, and I apologize for that but I'm just like I said I'm very excited I wish I when I was a lot younger I knew exactly how to wrap gifts like this if you're like me I love to give gifts and I love when they look great it just makes me feel better okay so I'm just going to kind of measure I want it to come up I'm going to measure it corner to corner because that will give me my height. Okay, I just want it a little bit 
wider. All I'm doing is taking the corners up. Okay, that's good. You want the paper to be almost as high above the gift as the gift is high. So if you just double the height of the gift, that's exactly the height you're looking for for the paper. So I'm just going to cut right along here. It doesn't have to be super neat, although neat is not a bad thing. Okay. Now I have gone ahead and made the bow for it. If you check out my blog, uh, you will see the um, video I have on how to tie a bow. So I've already gone ahead of time and I've made the bow because I will speed up the video. So what I've done here, I'm just holding the gift because I'm trying to match up the corners at the top. Okay, and again, if you watch my video on how to wrap with cello, you'll see I'm following exactly the same pattern. Now see how it's shorter here? That's okay, because as I'm pulling it in, I'm tucking the shorter pieces inside. I don't know if you can see that. I've tucked the shorter pieces inside and the longer pieces are on the outside. So I'll see, show you that again. And then I come up, you'll see the shorter pieces here. Kind of tuck them in and you bring the longer pieces up. Now we have to start pulling so we get all the sew up to the top. I'm going to get it all straightened so we know it's all snug around the gift. Boy, that was a big piece that came up. Just keep pulling. Get all the sew up near the top. And then at the same time you're pulling it up, you try and put the sew in a nice pretty display on top. You've got to go right around the whole edge of the sew. Okay. Now at this point I'm going to grab ribbon, of course I have valentine ribbon, and I'm just going to tie that around the top of the gift, and I'm going to just tie it in a knot to secure it. Just push that sew back and tie it once more. Now. As I said before, I've already got my bow made, so I'm going to take the end and I'm going to push the sew back and I'm going to stick it underneath the ribbon I tied and I'm going to pull the end through and I'm going to grab the other end of the ribbon on the bow, the curly ribbon, and I'm now going to secure that. I'm going to tie that in a knot and again on my other video you'll see how to do that. This video is more showing how we've just made a tin with some shredded paper and some chocolates. Now I'm going to cut this so that it's all the same. And again, I'm going to just curl this ribbon a bit here. Again in the direction that it's curling already. And there you have your tin can all wrapped up in a box. Now notice how nice the back looks. The back looks just as nice as the front. If you like you could take some more of the shredded paper and stick it in the back. You can add a few more chocolates on the back. I just wanted to make sure that I ran into enough time uh, in the video here to show everything. So feel free to, to add more. You, what you could do is pull this out and shred it and have it spooling, spilling over and add your extra little chocolates in there. But you'll see how lovely that is. And presentation is everything. So that's a small tin can. Now it's a beautiful gift worth presenting. Thank you and visit the Crafty Elf Workshop. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.